So to move ahead, we are going to need the next concept of neighborhoods. Now there are two types of neighborhoods in this particular course. First is a square neighborhood and second is a circular neighborhood. Now let us see what is a square neighborhood from this picture. So I will take a point A comma B in R2. I am discussing this in R2. So this is A and this is B. Now I take a small number delta which is a very small positive number. I will go delta distance ahead of A. When I go delta distance ahead of A, this point, if this distance is delta, okay, this point will be A plus delta. Correct. And if I go delta distance behind the point A, then this point will become what? A minus delta. Correct. And then I will do the same thing for the B also. If I go upside, I buy delta units, then the point that I will get will be B plus delta. And if I go the below, that will become by delta units, if I reduce delta B, B minus this, then we will get B minus delta. Right. And then I will look at the square formed by these points. You can see you get a square, so I will erase the part which is outside the square. You see this square, right? So this square, what is the property of every point of this square? If I take any point x comma y in this square, so x comma y is in this square, then what can I say about the x coordinate of that point? Obviously the x coordinate will be between a minus delta to a plus delta because that x by x x is here so x is lying between which two points so i will erase now everything okay so x lies between which two points x lies between a minus delta to a plus delta similarly when i take about y if i look at the y coordinate if i erase that this is the y coordinate of that point so what is the the property that i can see here y also lies between b minus delta and b plus delta. So x lies between here a minus delta to a plus delta and y lies between which two points? y lies between y minus delta and phi plus delta. Okay. In short, how do we write this a minus delta less than x less than a plus delta? We write this as what? x minus a modulus is less than delta. The meaning of this is x minus a minus is less than delta means what? x lies between a minus delta to a plus delta. This is very obvious because you know that if mod of x minus a less than delta, what is the meaning of mod of x minus a less than delta? It means that minus delta will be less than x minus a will be less than delta. And then I will add a to all the sides. So I will get automatically a minus delta less than x less than a plus delta. So this inequality that we are having can be in short be written as what x minus a modulus less than delta. Similarly, what can I write for, for this now? Here also I can say that y minus b less than delta. I have uh, what I have written here? I have written here y, sorry, it is less than b minus delta to b plus delta. Sorry for this. So these two inequalities are nothing but these two inequalities. So this is just a different version of what I am writing here. So this is called, these two things together is called as a square neighborhood. Right? So this is a square neighborhood of which point? Of the point A comma B. And how I write that? I write it as x minus A less than delta comma y minus b less than delta. So this is the concept of square neighborhood of point a b with what distance I have taken, the radius I have taken, I will say the square radius is delta. Now we will discuss what is a circular neighborhood. 
So again, I will go in the x y plane. I will take a point P, which is uh, a comma b. Okay, and I will take a positive radius delta about the point a b, uh, and I will draw a circle of radius delta about that point a. B. Okay, so. now we know the equation of this circle if the center is a comma b and the radius is delta what is the equation of this circle given by it is uh, by center radius form which is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square but the radius here is equal to delta so equation of this circle is nothing but x minus a square plus y minus b square equal to delta square. but i am interested in the region which is inside this circle i i don't even want this boundary to come in the picture so i want points i want to collect all the points which are inside this circle so if i want the point which are inside this circle this equal to i will just replace it by what i will re replace it by less than delta square i will get automatically the points which are inside this circle if i make this greater than sign if i make this greater than sign then i will get all the points which are outside this circle suppose i make this less i, I make this sign as Less than with equal to, then what will happen? Then I will get the points inside the circle also, and I will get the points on the circle also, right? So it will be completely like a closed disk. We call it as a closed disk. But right now I am interested in only what? I am interested in the points which are completely inside the circle. So that is nothing but a circular neighborhood of point a comma b of radius delta. And how am I going to represent it as x minus a whole square plus y minus b the whole square less than what less than delta square? And if I take the square root on both the sides, this square will go away, and I will get a square root over here. Okay, and now this this is nothing but a circular neighborhood of point a comma b of radius what of radius delta, which you can see in this figure. Now let us see some examples of these two types of neighborhoods. So the first example I will now take here is I want to draw a neighborhood of point one comma one with uh, with radius say equal to one. Okay, and I want to draw square neighborhood also, and I want to draw the circular neighborhood also for the same center and the same type of radius. So if you look at the Description now that we have discussed, one comma one is a point somewhere here in the first quadrant, okay. And what is the? I want to draw the square neighborhood, so I will go what? So this is one. Radius is also one, so I will go here one centimeter back side, so one centimeter in the front side, and here on the y-axis also on the y-axis one centimeter below, one centimeter above, and then I will shade that particular region. And I will not take the boundary. Let me not take the boundary because I am taking strictly less than. Okay, now you know that. So I will include the only the interior part. Okay, and this will become the square neighborhood of the point one comma one. And if I take the circular neighborhood, now if I go in the x y plane again, and let me take one comma one here, and this is. Then I have to take a radius of one centimeter and draw a circle about that point, which will obviously touch the x-axis also. Okay, and I will not include the boundary because I don't want the circle to come in the picture. I want the interior part to come in the picture. So I will shade the interior part, and now this will be the. circular neighborhood of the point 1 comma 1 of radius delta 